Jules, our cup runneth over North London Derby, Manchester Derby yes. this weekend. And we even asked, which clash between the big six is your favorite? Uh, mine is has to be the Arsenal Tottenham games because when I moved over here, it was the invincible season, of course, at the beginning, and um, they won the title. Arsenal won the title at White Hart Lane at the time it was, of course, and I just looked at those games coming from France and having knowledge of English football, but not as super knowledge as I do now, for example. But and. I just love the fact that you could walk from one stadium to the other. Okay, it would take you, I don't know, half an hour, but still... It's, Theoretically, it's, you could walk from the Emirates to Old Trafford. Yeah, too, yeah, it would that, take but. you f three weeks. <laughs> but no, but you know what I mean? I like the proximity. I like the, you know, the t t t Tottenham argument that Arsenal were a South London club, first of all, which they were. That's where they were yeah. founded. And then moved north in 1913. I like the... I, I, yeah, I just like the contrast between the two. I like some of the goals. I like the Saul Campbell. I think the Saul Campbell story of, you know, leaving the, the ultra enemy, the rival on a free, like where nobody expected it. I, I just thought those makes, th those kind of incidents or moments or piece of history or goals make a game like that so special. And there's all the great games, of course, and encounters in England. But for me, this one, whoever wins Spurs or Arsenal and whatever atmosphere is or whatever is at stake is always the most special. Yeah, I'm going to go chalk with this, go with the obvious one to me. It's not a derby, um, but it has to be Liverpool, Manchester United. Um, I think these are the two teams that have defined English football globally, for better or for worse, over the last 15 years, or 50 years, rather. Maybe even longer than Maybe that. even longer than that. Um, and obviously, you know, the whole thing, Sir Alex saying about knocking them off their perch. And, yeah. Um, and, and also, again, you have proximity. Manchester and Liverpool, they're very, very close to each other. They both have local rivals, and it is a, it's a strong rivalry there, but it kind of feels to me like it, it escalates to a different level when mm. they play each other. And the fact that United have struggled over the past decade, I don't think has necessarily diminished that. I would love to see these games at some point, Liverpool against United, when both teams are really, really good. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to see when they're both in a golden era. They we really kind of have missed that. each other, yeah. They kind of have yeah, missed yeah, each yeah. other, haven't they? Uh, flip side of this, uh, and I'll go first here with this one, which games are the least interesting in terms <laughs> of the clashes within the big six? Um, I'm not sure there's one. Yeah, I don't know there's one that's least interesting. Maybe when you don't have all those things that make up the rivalry. So if I were to say Spurs playing Manchester City, it could be a great game if Spurs are attacking mm. and City play great football. But I don't know that you necessarily have that kind of historic weight um, of, of a rivalry there. Yeah, no, yeah, maybe I agree with you. I think they're all so interesting because they they are super teams. And, you know, we talked a lot last season about the Liverpool-Man City sort of like rivalry. And so the, is it the biggest rivalry of the Premier League? Some people believed it. We kind of disagreed uh, because we didn't feel there was enough beef maybe or none yeah. of those stories it was too nice between them they're too kind of friendly the two managers etc etc um so yeah i'm not sure if i can highlight just one of those encounters well thank you very much for watching espn on youtube for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the espn app and for live streaming premium content and let's not forget as well espn fc seven days a week subscribe to espn plus